Hello, hello. It's time for Facebook Live. I know I'm coming in maybe about 30 seconds early, but I figured I'd give a chance to everybody for everybody to get on line here. I'll get myself set up so that I can see what's going on for questions. Hello, Haley Atchison is watching and Katie. Welcome. Let me see if I can find my own Facebook Live. Hi, Christine. Hi, Brooke. Marsha. Christine, glad you're tuning in. Lisa's watching. Oh, here I am. Yay. Hi, Julie. Hi, Mary. Anne, welcome. Okay. Tell me where you're coming from. I always like to know where you're watching at. I'm going to see if I can get my screen to go a little bigger. That helps me see a few more comments. Hi, Carol. Julie, Patty, welcome, everybody. I hope you guys have had a wonderful weekend. I have to tell you, it has been an extremely exciting weekend here in the Atchison household. So I was gone last week. We were in Florida. Um, I went with my stepdaughter, Stephanie, and her two sons, and then my daughter, Haley, and her boyfriend, Jared. And we went to Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure, which was just fabulous. It was hot and humid, just like it is here in Wisconsin for the last few days. Super hot and humid. And um, I love that weather, so I'm all good with it. But I did have a little problem while I was there. I developed what Haley found on the internet to be called the Disney Rash. And it's actually um, exercise-induced varicosis, where I get these welts all over my legs. And my legs are super hot and red. And then they swell up. And I had an afternoon where I could hardly walk. So that wasn't so cool. But um, went back to our resort and propped my feet up. And after, I don't know, about mm, 12 hours or so, I was, I was okay again. But holy cow. And I'm happy to report that my ankle swelling is all gone now. It really went away as of yesterday. So whew, I've been getting that since I was in my early 20s. I remember the first vacation I went on to Florida, um, I got the same thing. And it's called the Disney Rash. Who knew? It's crazy. But it's something that happens because you're walking excessively so like 12 hours at an amusement park walking around is a lot I guess so anyways our trip to Florida was good um, we had a good time um, you know rode the rode the rides um, Harry Potter world was fabulous I really still love my favorite roller coaster the Incredible Hulk. I don't know if has anybody ever been on the Incredible Hulk at Universal Studios. I think it's in Islands of Adventure. It's amazing. I love it. It shoots you out. So like you go up, 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 and then it goes whoosh, shoots you out. And I am still in my swimsuit. We have been outside at the pool all day. We had some storms go through. It poured rain a couple times. We just went in the garage and um we had a little birthday party for Haley. It was her birthday today. She's 24. And um, we had exciting news. If you didn't see that on my Facebook page, Haley and Jared got engaged Friday night. So that was exciting. And um, also exciting was, oh, come, here's her ring. Ah. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. Can you, can you grab that for me and put it right back over there? My room is like a booby trap. <laughs> it's so nasty. <laughs> and then Haley also found out that she's going to be teaching at a local charter school, elementary school. And she's going to be teaching a fifth, sixth grade split. So she's super excited about that. And it's at the same school with one of her very good friends, Zoe, that she went to high school with and played soccer with. So super exciting. Hello, Anne-Marie. Hello, Michelle. Thank you, Julie. It was just so much stuff happening. And what else? Um, I got home from Florida on Tuesday, early morning, 2.30 in the morning. And Wednesday, we had to go up to my mom's house because my uncle passed away. So that was kind of sad. We had a funeral to go to on Thursday, so it was a little tricky. 
popping back into town for a day and then heading out of town again. So I've been working my little butt off trying to figure out what I'm going to do for tonight. I think I got it figured out. I think you guys will be happy with it. Um, what else can I tell you? Let's see. You guys heard about the promotions that start today. We have, when you buy our discount shopper kit, also our starter kit, you can be a business builder or a discount shopper, you get a free family of ink pads for free. 10 ink pads for free. So if anybody would like to join my team of discount shoppers or business builders, it's up to you what you want to do with that. It is a fantastic deal. Those ink pads are $67.50. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Um, my uncle had cancer for a while now, and um, so it was just kind of a blessing that he went sooner rather than later, and I know he's in a good place now, so that's always, you know, that's a bonus, right? Um, back to the starter kit, discount shopper kit. Fabulous, fabulous deal. 10 ink pads for free. So if you have a wish list that's around $100, you get to choose $125 of product for only $99 and you get free shipping. Now on $125 of product, you would be paying $12.50 for shipping by its, all by itself. That's free. Plus you get a color family of ink pads. You get to choose whether you want neutrals, regals, brights, subtles, or all 10 in colors. Wow, <laughs> it's a fabulous deal. Um, what else can I tell you? I do have a link in the right side column on my blog that says $99 kit. If you click on that, that answers the majority of the questions that people usually have about the kit. What happens, um, how much do you have to spend to stay active? You have to spend $300 a quarter and you get a full quarter to do that. So since we're already a day into July, you would have until the end of December to order $300 in product. Or you just go inactive. Nobody's going to come knocking at your door looking for their ink pads back. Stampin' Up's not going to say, hey, give us our stuff back that we gave you at a really big discount. Everything's fine. You just go inactive. You get to be part of my team. I have special perks for my team. There's a lot of my team members watching tonight, so um, it's, it's, a, it's a great team to be on. I would love to have you. The other thing that's going on is our buy three, get one free. Buy three packs of designer series paper and you get one free. So that's $11 free, boom. Um, you'll find the designer series papers that are available for that promotion on my blog, www.estampabub.com. So check those out. It's the best time to stock up on designer series papers. And of course, with the new catalog that just came out, we have some beautiful new papers to share. Uh, let's see, what else? I wanted to share the cards that I received this week. I think this one is very, very appropriate. This is from my friend and customer, Heather. Isn't this a gorgeous 4th of July? This is the swirly thinlets, I think they're called. Oh my gosh, isn't that gorgeous? And Heather wrote to me and said, I want to thank you for everything you do for us you're a rock star. Ha! I love it when I'm a rock star. <laughs> so thank you so much, Heather. This is just beautiful. Thanks, Kay. Thank you about my uncle. Um, I also, let's see. Oh, this is kind of cute. This is from Tyler Jordan. Tyler watches my videos from time to time. Tyler lives in Palos, <clears throat> excuse me, Palos Park, Illinois. And Tyler is a stamper. He loves to stamp. And he wrote, he sent me this birthday card. It says, Kelly, happy birthday to one fantastic person. Enjoy your birthday, Tyler. So Tyler, if you're watching, thank you so much. My birthday happens to be next Saturday. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of stuff. July is just like a super duper busy week for my, or month for my family. It was Haley's birthday today, and it, it was my dad's birthday also, but he's no longer with us um, today. And then my wedding anniversary is on July 4th. My husband and I, 26 years ago, we flew to Vegas and got married. Who knew that would work, right? Hi, Tyler. I just showed everybody your card. Thank you so much for the birthday card. This was so sweet. 
Um, and then um, anniversary on the 4th of July, and then my birthday is the 7th of July. So we've got lots of stuff going on in July. It's pretty cool. All right. I also received a card from Margie Romportal. Margie lives in Rothschild, Wisconsin, and isn't this just pretty? This was our old Daisy paper. I absolutely love it. She was part of my used stamp sale, so she sent me this card. That was really sweet. And then, let's see. Oh, this is a beauty. Let me see what this says. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Let me tell you about this. This is from Judy Gross. I believe that's the way I say her name. Look at how stinking cute this is. Oh my gosh, can you see that? It's just adorable. And Judy left it unsigned and wrote me a note instead so that I could, I'm assuming, reuse this card. And it says, Kelly, because of you, I had to have this stamp set. And because of France Martin, I had to make this card. France is another demonstrator. Absolutely um, love her. I just want to say thanks for all you do as a demonstrator. I'm so grateful for you and your willingness to share. My husband says you can never give anything away. It will come back to you tenfold. You have that giving spirit. Thank you and God bless. And you know what? She sent me an Amazon gift card. Holy cow. I was blown away by this. And thank you so much, Judy, because I'm a big Amazon shopper. Um, I do buy some stuff on Amazon. Lots of um, like kind of electronic stuff for my office. I just got a postage meter. I bought a new printer a couple weeks ago. So thank you so much. This was just the sweetest gift ever. I was, I was blown away. And then I received one more card in the mail. This is from Brenda. This was a swap card that Brenda made using our wonderful Frank Lee octopus, right? <laughs> we named him Frank Lee, frankly, yeah. So wonderful cards in the mail, and I know how much that brightens my day when I get cards in the mail, so thank you guys so much. Now I wanna announce our winners from the last time I was live was on June 17th. And remember, when you leave comments, you're entered in a drawing to win prizes from me. When you share my video, which you can do right now, you can share it, you're entered in another drawing from me. And when you place your online orders, you're entered in a drawing from me. This is my new hostess code for all online orders. If your order is under $150, please use this host code. You'll find it in the right hand column on my blog it's always there with the with the little owl so just look for that and you'll see the july hostess code so robin cuttingham of nina wisconsin is the winner for sharing the video and robin is going to get the share what you love embellishment kit so wonderful and then we have cheryl sims of Macon, michigan and she's going to get this hanging garden stamp set. Congratulations. And then Kathy Rowe of Broadway, Virginia is going to get the Southern Serenade stamp set. So congratulations, you guys. Everybody has the opportunity to win in those three different categories. So make sure you're commenting, sharing, and if you place an order, that's another opportunity to win with me. I will be getting these out in the mail tomorrow because we brought our summer home home. Yes, I bought a summer home last October and let me tell you a little bit about it. It's 24, 25 feet long and it has four tires that I just replaced um, this last week and it is a camper, but I call it my summer home because that's fancy. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm loving it. We haven't used it since last October. I mean, we have never used it. So we put new tires on it when we went to my mom's house. We were storing it there. And um, we got some new tires on it. And there's a few other things we need to do. Like we need to get an anti-sway bar for our truck. And um, the, I can't remember what my husband called it. But it's the brake thing that you put on the inside of your truck. So you can use the brakes on the trailer, uh, the camper. 
but um, I'm super excited. We've been sleeping in it the last few nights because it has air conditioning, which is nice to sleep in, right? And um, we don't like to turn the central air on in our house because I like the windows open. I don't like air conditioning as a rule. I was freezing to death in Florida when we, anytime we went inside, I was just freezing. And, um, um, so we've been sleeping in the summer home the last couple nights because it's cheap to air condition. And anyways, <clears throat> the first night, it's like probably the wee hours of the morning, maybe three o'clock in the morning. And I hear this meow, meow, meow. And I like said to my husband, I said, is there a cat in here? And he like sits up and looks and sure enough, there was one of our cats. When I came into the camper, it was very late, like one o'clock in the morning. When I came into the camper to go to bed, I don't know. I thought I closed and locked the door, but apparently the door popped open and in came one of our cats. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, that was a rude awakening. I'm glad we didn't have any like murderers in the neighborhood. <laughs> um, anyways, so we brought our summer home home. And we are going to take it. My stepdaughter, Anna, has a permanent camper at a permanent campground. And so we are going to take our camper there. And um, the girls, Stephanie and Anna, want to make dinner for me for my birthday this next Saturday. So I'm super excited that we're going to get to use this summer home. And we're, we'll, we'll see how we like it, right? We'll see. What else is happening? Um, there might be some camping stamping going on too, so that could be fun. Um, oh, the other thing I have to report to you is I did not get my room cleaned out. I know some of you are going, oh, Kelly and others are going, I knew she wouldn't. Yeah, I've been so busy. It's been crazy. Summer gets that way though, don't you think? Um, but I'm hoping to, maybe this week, I'll be able to get it cleaned out. It depends on when we take the camper over to, it's about a 45 minute drive to where Anna's campground is. And, um, maybe I'll get my room cleaned out, but I really need to clean it out because it's, ugh, I hate it when it's like so cluttered and there's stuff all over and piled up and you see my cardstock back there. Yeah. That's still all my new cardstock, the new colors. I haven't got my drawers changed over yet. So, oh, anyways. All right. Are we, what are you guys drinking tonight? I have to report to you. I went on vacation. I came back three pounds up, but now I'm still 13 pounds down. Yay. I'm still doing my bicycle and my walking every day. And I do treat myself to one Pepsi Cola once a day. And this is it. Oh my gosh. Nectar of the gods. Seven up. Okay. Kelly, are you going to Alaska? Yes, I am absolutely going to Alaska. We are leaving, I think, July 20th to fly to Seattle and then jump on a cruise ship for our Alaskan cruise. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is the Stampin' Up! incentive trip that I earned last year. And I'm taking my mom, and she is super excited, and my mom's friend Rosie is coming with us. So... It should be quite an adventure. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Hi, Lisa Krejcia. It's good to see you on here. Okay, what should we make first? I am thinking we're going to do some bags. So I've got some really cool projects to show you. I am going to diet root beer. That sounds good, too. I don't like diet soda, but root beer sounds good. Brenda lost 19 pounds. Yay for you, Brenda. I'm hoping to lose the 30 that I've gained since last fall, so yeah. And somebody was so sweet, they said, I thought your face looked thinner. Thank you. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to flip you around. I want you to hang with me. Now, if we for some reason get disconnected, you know that you just need to click on my page name again and scroll down until you find this July 1st Facebook Live and we'll be connected again. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes right now. I will tell you when to open them. So hang tight. Oh, you're stuck. There we go. All right. Here we go. Hang on. It's not, don't open your eyes yet. I have to get my 
um, camera holder switched around here. So, okay. And I know you guys like me to be a little closer up. Let's see if I can do that. It's scary to touch the screen on a Facebook Live because you do not know what's going to happen. Yeah, I can't get it zoomed in. It's going to have to be okay here. We'll see how it works. Okay. All right, you can open your eyes now. I think I'm done goofing around. Let me get this out of the way. Get my lights positioned so you can see. Does it look really dark on the bottom of the screen? I guess not. I think it'll be okay. All right, let me get the prizes out of the way here and see what we're gonna make. I've got this beautiful promenade called Beautiful Promenade <laughs> that we're gonna be using tonight. And I am going to make a card and a matching gift box bag. So I think I'm gonna make the bag first because the bag uses the leftovers of the designer series paper. So let me bring this in and show it to you. Oh, Linda, you had pie? Yum, that sounds delicious. We actually had ice cream cake today. I love ice cream cake. All right, here are, this is the, what's this called? It takes me a while to get all these names down. Petal Promenade Designer Series Paper. And look at how beautiful this looks like, um, what do they call that? Marble. This looks just like marble. These gorgeous flowers with those little cabbage-y things in there. I think those are really cool looking. My mom has some of those. And then we've got this. And here's the back. And again, it's kind of a marble look to the other side. Here's some really pretty peach and vanilla with, oh, that's pretty too. Love this. Um, what else do we have? Oh, the pink. Oh, I got to show you these. This is really pretty. I'll just pull it out. Look at all these little frames that you can stamp a greeting in. Cut them out, stamp a greeting in. Or you can use this as a scrapbook page and maybe put photos in. I don't know. I think that would work. Backside. That's pretty cool looking, right? Here's another one with a bunch of frames. Isn't that pretty? And just kind of a mm, textured design on the back here. What else do we have? Oh, the pink. Did I show you the pink yet? I don't think I did. Here's the back of the pink. Again, more marble looking, but look at those pink flowers. They are so, so pretty. We are going to use this gorgeous paper. And remember, this, this paper is actually part of the buy three, get one free right now um, until the end of July. When you buy three packs of designer series paper, you get one free. So that's $11 for free, which is really cool. I'm going to bring in my paper cutter and we are going to make a gift bag and a matching card. I think I said that already. Oh well, it's okay. So I'm going to cut three quarters. Oh, I'm going to cut this at 10 inches. So our gift bag is going to be 10 by 10. So here's 10 by 10. And this, by the way, was a 12 by 12 piece of designer series paper. So we've got a couple scraps there. And then we're going to do same thing to the other piece because we need a front to our bag and a back, front and back. So again, I'm just cutting this at 10 inches. Okay, here's our pieces that we just cut. Now I'm going to cut three quarters of an inch off the bottom of my pieces. This is going to be my handles for my bag. So there's my three quarter inch handles. And now we're gonna do some scoring. We are going to score a quarter, one and a quarter inch from the top and one and a quarter inches from the bottom. And remember, all of these dimensions will be on my blog on Tuesday. And one and a quarter inches here again. And that reminds me, I have a blog hop tomorrow with the, um, Color fusers. We have a very cool color combination 
that we will all be featuring projects using these four colors. So make sure you check out my blog tomorrow and subscribe to it. There's a little subscribe button over in the right hand column where you can subscribe to my blog so that every time I post something to it, it comes into your email inbox. Okay, so this is our top and bottom. I'm just going to fold on that score line. Oh, hang on. I have to find my own folder. I lost it. Well, I shouldn't say that. I put it in a bag to take up north with me, and I didn't unload the bag yet. And so, hang on while I find the bone folder. And then I didn't unload my, here's one, didn't unload my traveling case that I do my stamp clips with yet. So, I got a bone folder right here. So I'm going to move this aside for a second. Ooh, Michelle said that it's too hot outside, that she stayed in the house making cards. Good for you, because that's a great thing to do when it's super hot out, right? So I'm just going to fold down the top of my bag, and then we're going to glue that down right away. So we've got a one and a quarter inch score line here and here. And I'm just going to fold down that top. See if we can get some glue out of my bottle. There we go. I'm just using my liquid glue here to fold this back and keep it in place. So it was funny because when Haley got engaged on Friday, she called the grandparents, um, her grandparents, her grandmother and Jared's grandparents and their first questions were both have you set a date yet <laughs> she thought that was so funny because she's like no I just got engaged like minutes ago they went up to Lambeau Field which is where our Green Bay Packers play football and went out for a couple drinks and when they were leaving Lambeau Field that's when he got down on his knee and proposed to her it was really sweet okay now we are gonna score on the left side and we're gonna score at a half inch I like to go this way when I'm scoring little you know little measurements and then I'll turn it around that was a half inch and then we're gonna go one and a quarter and two inches you're gonna do this on both pieces now, you would think that you would need to do this. I did this on the left side. You would think you'd need to do it on the right side here, but you do not. You're going to do left side, left side, score. Okay, we're going to score on the left side for both of them. So I've got a half inch, one and a quarter, and then two inches. Okay, we are ready for assembly. All right, you're going to fold. I'm folding on that last score line, and then here's the middle one, and here's that half inch one. So it's going to get scored just like that. Bring in my phone folder. Whoops. See how that kind of pushed out on me? We don't want that to happen. We want to stay on that score line. Anytime you're doing score lines, it's really important that they're scored straight and that you're folding on them properly. Otherwise, things get all wonky. You get all frustrated. I'm sad. <laughs> A whole bunch of things that go down then. Dee Dee just ordered this paper today. That's awesome because you are going to love it. It is so real and vivid and beautiful and colorful. I love it. I used it for another project. I wish I would have thought enough to get that project out, but I didn't because it was a really busy day here. We had people over all day. We had so much fun. We cooked out, had some delicious food. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Now we need to cut a little bit of this out. Let me find my little scissors. Here they are. That's okay, Claudia. I'm glad you're joining. It's okay to be late. You can watch the beginning later. You're going to cut out this first tab, okay? And I'm just cutting on the score lines. 
And then you're gonna, so here was our first score line, second score line, third score line. So you cut the tab off the corner and then you're gonna come in and cut this one. Okay, so see what I've got here? And then you're going to angle the tab. This is the bottom tab. This is gonna be the bottom of our gift bag, just like that. We're gonna do the same thing to the other one. I'm like, yeah, is that right? Yep, that's right. <laughs> I wanna make sure I'm doing this right. I made three of these so that I would, you know, have a good handle on what I'm doing here. I was up till 2.30 last night getting ready for my Facebook Live because I knew I had a super busy day today with the birthday party and it's Sunday fun day. We have people over every Sunday to go swimming, so, but it was even more, more important because it was Haley's birthday. And then I went out for my bicycle ride this morning, which usually takes me about an hour and a half. And five minutes after my, I left, my mom showed up as a surprise. So I didn't even know she was coming. So then I really couldn't clean my room, which is what I planned on doing after I went to the grocery store. But oh well, the room will stay lit just like this. Okay, here's what we have, you guys. Two bags. These are going to go together just like this. We're going to fold up this bottom score. And remember when you're scoring this designer series paper not to push too hard on that scoring blade because designer series paper is a little more delicate than cardstock and you will tear it if you push too hard. Now with the paper trimmer that I use to score this, I have not had that happen with designer series paper. I know you used to with our older um, our older paper cutter. It would it would tear the designer paper. Okay. So I've got this pushed down in a little accordion, and now I'm going to add my glue. You could use tear tape here. You can use anything you want. Um, I don't recommend tape runners or snail adhesive because anytime you're dealing with a box or a bag, that just isn't a good, good plan. So something a little more, a little stronger. So I'm just making sure that this is lined up and it looks good. Okay, so there's one side of our bag. We're gonna do the other one here. And you're just putting glue on this tab, this half inch tab where we scored it a half an inch. Okay. Now, heard from a lot of people about your hoarding of designer series paper. And it's time to get your paper out and use it. I know as stampers and scrapbookers, we have gazillions and gazillions of pieces of designer series paper. And I know I'm not wrong about that. This is just a fabulous, fabulous way for you to use up your designer series paper. So get it out, make some gift bags with some matching cards. Now this is the bottom and I'm going to fold in my little tab here and now I'm going to I'm going to add some glue. This doesn't cover all the way. Like this box bottom doesn't fill up the whole space here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on this very edge on this one and a little bit of glue on the edge on this one. And then we won't have any glue running over to the inside. Do you know what I mean? You know how that happens? Squaring the box bottom up. I shouldn't say box, it's not really a box, it's a bag. I'll push my hand in here, make sure that's sticking and that it is square. There we go. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be just gorgeous. Now where did our handles go? Oh, here they are. All right. So you can do your handles. You could do the flowers like this, or you can do them just like this with the white handles. And I don't know which one should I do, you guys. Oh, thank you for the love. Thank you so much. Should I do the flower side out or the marble side out? I think I'm going to do the flower side out. I think I like that a lot. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue from about here down. Isn't it gorgeous? 
I know, Vicki. It is beautiful. I'm going to put it in. Let's see. I'll measure this for you so you know. It's about one and a half inches from the side. And then I'm going to twist it like this. I'm going to put a little bit more glue right here. And I'm just eyeballing this, but I'd say, you know, it's, it's one and a half inches from the other side, too. So one and a half, one and a half. How pretty that is. I have to hold it in place just a touch until the glue dries. And then here's the other one. I'm going to do the same thing. The second one is a little bit easier, the second handle, because you can kind of push this down and line it up with the handle on the other side. So pretty. Oh, thanks, Lisa. Lisa is one of my friends that I haven't seen in a very long time. She lives in um, Madison, well, or Wanakee, I think. But we were buddies back in the 90s when I lived in Madison. We got to be good friends because we worked in the same office building. It's one of those little, like, office buildings that have a whole bunch of different companies in it. And we had a great time. Badger games. Loved going to the Badger games with this girl. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't this the cutest thing ever, you guys? Okay, now, I made the box bag, and then I decided I should make a matching card, right? Because, like, why wouldn't you? And we've got all this goodies. Oh, before we go too much further... So, this is the beautiful promenade and the beautiful layers thinlets. So we've got this gorgeous thing. Look at that. And I'll show you what it makes. It makes this like medallion. Isn't that pretty? That's what this thing makes. We've also got this little thing. And that's what I made the top of this tag with. Hang on, I've got some ribbon in here. Look at the top of that tag is made with this little piece. So that's cool, right? You just cut your layer of cardstock two inches wide and you can make a tag like this. Then I took this flower and the flower die here and cut this out and mounted it on some dimensionals. This, by the way, is our fresh fig um, eighth inch sheer ribbon. And I decided that this would look very, very pretty as a tag on our bag. So let's put a tag on our bag. That's rhyming. <laughs> I am a poet and I don't even know it. Okay, there we go. There's a cute little tag for our bag. Isn't that just sweet? Thank you guys for the love. Yeah, it does kind of look like a little purse, right? I keep calling it a bag, but you could certainly um, use this as a little purse. I didn't even think about that. Trim this off. Whoa, these scissors are, I need to get them cleaned because they gunky with glue. They don't cut good when they got glue all over them. Okay, so there's our cute little gift bag. It says, you are loved. And now we're going to do our card to match with this beautiful stamp set. So let me try and figure out what I'm doing here. Okay, we've got fresh fig. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to get oops, one of my piercing mats so I have something to stamp on using fresh fig ink. Oh, I thought I stuck my finger in it, but I did not. I've got my chamois out here. You guys don't have one of these yet? You gotta get one. They're amazing. It's to clean your stamps if you miss that some, somewhere along the line. And I absolutely love mine. And I've used it enough now and gotten enough ink in it that it's now when I take it and rinse it out in the sink, you can actually, there's a little bit of color that comes out of it, but not much. Now, isn't this little triangle thing nifty? It's just an element that I'm using to put on the inside layer of my card. You guys know I like to decorate up the insides of my cards. Ooh, Lisa says I've got 160 watching me tonight. Well, thank you guys so much. That just really brightened my day. 
I really appreciate that you guys like to spend a little time with me on Sunday nights. Okay, so there's our inside. Isn't that just cool? It's just a cool element. And then we've got a white piece here. Oh, I know. I'm going to take a piece of this, and this is two inches wide, and I'm going to cut it at five and a quarter. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Here we go. This was a scrap left over from my bag. We're just going to glue that down. Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to love this card. I haven't actually made this card yet. I stamped some of the elements for it, but I haven't actually made it because I needed to show you guys how to cut out the bag. And there's two pieces of this paper in my designer series paper, so I couldn't like make one, right? I usually make up a prototype so, you know, I can fairly clearly know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's a good way to put it because well, a lot of times I don't. Okay, so this is going to go right here. Oh my gosh, this is so, so pretty. Just the paper is gorgeous, right? Chris says she loves her chamois. Oh my gosh, I do too. It's like the best thing ever. It's the best thing they've ever made. Okay, then I took some fresh fig and I cut out a scallop with our layering ovals. Um, with our layering ovals. Okay, so this is a scallop and fresh fig. And then I used our stitched shape framelits for the um, oval to layer on top of it. And I'm going to stamp with the fresh fig ink. And I'm stamping your stronger than most. I just thought that was such a nice saying. Then, let's see, we're going to, I can layer these together right away because um, I've got other things to do that is oval, but nothing that won't allow me to put it together here. Then I'm going to grab my um, flower, this really pretty flower, and some stays on ink. I'm using stays on because I'm going to color this and you have to use something that is waterproof and this is our waterproof ink that looks nice and crisp okay and you have to make sure you're closing your stays on up because your ink pad will dry out right before your eyes if you don't keep it closed you, it's not like one of these that you can just leave open on your desk okay um let's see i've got my flower here and through the magic of TV, I've already die cut one, and I die cut it using the flower die right here. Now this, this flower die right here, that cuts out this flower and this flower. So um, it does double duty, which is really nice. I love it when it has to cut that. Then I'm going to also use this die in a piece of mossy meadow scrap and I'm going to cut out a couple sets of these leaves. We're going to do that right after we color this flower in. Okay, so here's what I did. I wanted um, kind of the pinky color that's in these flowers. This is like the fresh fig color in these flowers. Maybe it's easier to see here. Fresh fig, fresh fig. But I wanted the pinky color for my flower. So I decided to grab my lovely lipstick. Now you guys know we used to push on the front of the stamp case to get ink in the lid so we could use it with an aqua painter. With these new ink pads, you wanna do it from the back because the back is more flexible than the front. The front of the case is a little too hard. Is it any problem to use stays on ink on photopolymer? Beth is asking. Um, so here's the deal. There's a lot of people that can tell you a lot of different things about stays on and blah, blah, blah. Um, I, I use my stamps and I'm gonna use my stamps for whatever I want to use my stamps for. Will this ink come off of here on my photopolymer? Probably if I use a stays on cleaner, I can get most of it off. 
Um, right now, this stamp is clean, okay? There's no ink coming off of it. It's just going to be stained because Stazon is a permanent ink. If I have a stained stamp, I'm a happy camper because that tells me I have used this stamp set and it was well worth my investment to purchase it. Um, you, I've heard that you should not use Stazon Cleaner on the clear rubber photopolymer stamps. I have before and I've had no problem. Um, yeah, you're not going to get this ink off of here. I don't really care. Some people, they're, they want the ink off their stamps. You know, if you use it, your photopolymer in a red, it stains it. So it's never coming, it's never going to be clear again. So I guess my advice on that is I do not use a stays on cleaner on photopolymer, but I have before. I just am lazy. <laughs> And I don't care that this stamp has, you know, it's stained black. I just don't care. Um, so I don't recommend stays on cleaner and photopolymer. That's what I've heard. Um, will it come clean? No. I mean, you can stamp with it. It's going to be fine. But so that's my two cents worth. As far as I'm concerned, you use whatever ink you want on your stamps. That that's that's my opinion. I paid for these and I'm gonna use whatever I want on them. And I need a stays on ink so that I can color. So, you know, I don't know if that's really an answer or not, but that's my two cents worth. So I'm glad you asked. Thank you for asking. Um, so Donna says, thought you have to clean them um, relatively soon after you use stays on. You can, but you don't have to. You don't, really, you don't have to do anything. It's, you know, if you don't like um, your stamp to be stained, you know, you can do whatever you want to try and get the stains off of them, but I don't understand the purpose behind it because the stamp still works just the same. And, you know, from my standpoint, I do everything fast. I'm a very fast stamper. I talk fast. I do everything fast. And for me to expend a bunch of energy cleaning a stamp because it's got a stain on it but will work perfectly fine is just, to me, it's just a, I don't know, it's kind of a waste of energy, I guess. That's the way I feel about it. So, and everybody's entitled to feel the way they want to, right? So if the ink on a stamp really bothers you, you can do whatever you want to um, try and get rid of it, but I just don't think it's real important. <laughs> Maybe more than you really wanted to know, right? Okay, and then I've got a little bit of Fresh Fig. So this is lovely lipstick, and that's really pinky pinky, and I did not like that. So I need to tone that down a little bit, and I'm just going to come in here. And this is regular Whisper White cardstock, by the way. I'm just going to come in here, and I'm just going to do kind of a little wash with my um, watered down fresh fig so that kind of takes some of this hot pink look out of here and now I'm going to come in and do a little bit of accent around the edges of this flower of these petals I should say and this was very quick it wasn't something that I had to putz around with for a long time so and that really really toned it down and it brought it down to the color of these other pink, don't you think? All right, I've got one that's dry here. That one wasn't dry. I'm going to find some dimensionals here. I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of my flower. I'm gonna add this to my oval. Oh my gosh, isn't that so pretty? Look at that. Glorious. Oh, Donna says not because of the stain. They just thought, yeah, well, I've heard that the stays on cleaner is not good for photopolymer. So, you know, um, but like I said, I've used it and it's been fine. I didn't have any trouble. Um, I'm going to cut out two of these with this fun little striped leaf thing. Oh, look, did you see? I stuck my fingers in the ink. Might as well just get that baby wipe out here to clean those off right away. <laughs> Be a mess. Okay, and then I got these cut out. Look at those are uh, mossy meadow, which I think is just so pretty. 
I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the stem and then tuck it up under my flower. Maybe if I can get the glue to come out. There we go. See where that's going to look best. Maybe right there. Yep, I like that. And here's my other one. Oh, and I forgot to say, my nephew came over today, too. I haven't seen him in a long time, so that was really sweet. Little Jake, he's adorable. Oh my gosh, how pretty is this, right? This is gorgeous. I am not going to pop this up on dimensionals because my flower is already on dimensionals. I'm just going to set this right here. I love it. What do you guys think? Yes, the leaf die is from the promenade dies. That is exactly where it came from. I am using just this bundle, nothing else. There's some really cool dies in here. Um, there's a die for this flower, this flower, these leaves, these flowers. There's also um, a liner for envelopes. You can cut out, you know, in the flap of an envelope, you can cut out designer series paper. So there's a liner for that. And then we've got our... Um, medallion that's really pretty so yeah and the tag that I put on here here's the topper for the tag there's a lot of dyes in this and it's called beautiful layers and it's bundled with the beautiful promenade when you buy both of these together you get a 10% discount and here are the petal pink rhinestone gems now you guys know I had a promotion going while I was in Florida and if you placed a $50 order with me, you will be getting a pack of these pink rhinestone gems for free. This was from, um, it was an online special. So if you placed a $50 online order for me while I was gone, you will get a pack of these. And I'm ordering them shortly and I have to then put them in the mail. So they will come with your thank you card. So yay, if you're wondering where they are, it takes about a week to get here. Look at how pretty those are. These are the diamond shaped ones. And they say you should always do things in odd numbers. So I'm just gonna put one more. Oh my gosh, what do you guys think? Here we go, we have a card. And, and you know what I thought, this would be great for somebody who's going through something that is a little difficult. You are stronger than most, and you are loved on this tag. This would be awesome to give to somebody who maybe has had some type of a medical diagnosis that they weren't expecting. You could make up some um, thank you cards to put in here, because usually when people are going through medical things, people do nice things for them, and they need some thank you cards. So that's just another fantastic idea, don't you think? Again, this is the Petal Promenade designer series paper that is part of the promotion going on right now where you buy three packs of paper and get one free. It's so pretty. I love it. Okay. Let's set this aside so we can move on to our next project. I have some really cute stuff to show you guys tonight, so I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, let me get this, all of this stuff, make sure I get this cleaned off. I think I'm using my aqua painter again. Yeah, and I just made that card, matching card, with these scraps that we took off that gift bag. So it's a great way to use up the scraps. Get your designer series paper out and use it. We need to be using the paper. Okay. Hang on just a second, I'm cleaning things up here. I gotta keep everything in order so I can put this on my blog and give you all these dimensions and stuff like that. I don't wanna lose that stuff. Okay, next. Hmm, what am I gonna show you next? I think, yep, I think we're gonna go right here. We are going to be using the Twinkle Twinkle Designer Series paper. And you know, it used to be that, I'm just gonna clean up some of this stuff um, while I'm talking to you. It used to be that I, 
unless I needed some baby cards, I never bought the um, the baby patterned designer series paper. But then I started realizing something. Stampin' Up! puts a different type of design on the back of the designer series paper. And this isn't even really babyish paper. Uh, there's some really cute patterns in here. You've got these stars. I love these beautiful color combinations together. You've got some um, stars and here's some more um, like galaxy type looking paper. The stripes, more stars and polka dots. So while they show it with a baby um, themed stamp set, it really is good for just about everything. So I've got a cute card that I'm going to make from this. I've got a couple more cards using a fun fold um, that I will show you. Before I go too much further, I had a request from Heather Kohler. She wanted me to use the envelope punch board for you guys. So I'm going to make a, um, a matching envelope for one of the cards that we're going to make. When you get out your envelope punch board, a great way to, again, you guys, use up this designer series paper. Use it. Use your paper. I always used to save my paper because I was waiting for that one special project. And being a demonstrator, I would save it until it retired and then I never used it. And it was a huge waste of money because now it goes into a pile of paper that I'm not gonna use because I always only use current product. I know that's different for you guys if you're not a demonstrator, but don't save that paper for that mysterious, perfect project that you're probably never gonna find. Use the paper then you have a reason to get more paper. <laughs> you hear from people like, I cannot possibly buy any more paper, I have so much. You can if you use it, right? So, I've got this gorgeous little paper here, and I am looking, what is the size of the card that I need an envelope for? And I need an envelope for a four and a half by five and a half card, or an A2 size. Okay, so A2 is the size that I need, and what it tells me here is my paper size needs to be 8 and 1 eighth by 8 and 1 eighth. I'm going to bring in my paper cutter, and I am going to cut my cardstock square at 8 and 1 eighth. Here we go. Now, what's next here? Now it tells me the scoring line, the score line that you're gonna start at is three and three quarters. So now we're gonna put our paper up here. We're gonna go over to three and three quarters. And we're gonna take this little scoring blade and we're going to push it, not too hard, you don't wanna rip your paper, but right here is a score line. And so each time you're going to score it right here and punch it. So that's what we have. Now, you're not going to pay attention to these measurements anymore. They're only for that first line. The next thing you're going to do is you're going, you have a score guide right here. Can you guys see that okay? It's this little um, knobby thing that sticks out and it says score guide. <laughs> yeah, that one. Now, you can see my score line here. You're going to... Take your paper from here and turn it to the left, and you're going to put this line right on that score line. You're going to score again and punch. Turn, put that score line on that little pointer, score, punch. And you're going to do it one more time. Line that up with your score line, score, punch. And now, the one thing that I, not the one thing, but one of the things I really like about this is it's got a corner rounder down here. So now you can push all your corners in here and make them look like a professional envelope, which I think is super awesome. All your corners are rounded. 
don't forget to put your scoring tool back in there so you don't lose it. And now we are going to fold on the score lines. Let me get my fold folder out here. And isn't this just the cutest little envelope with those little um, pool party stars in there? Here is our envelope. Now this is really dark. How are we gonna write on here? We're gonna put like a little Avery label on here. Or you could write with a um, white chalk pen, perhaps. But you'll be able to see it if you put a little Avery label on here. But isn't that cute? And this is going to fit um, a standard A2 size card. And all of the cards that we make as a rule are A2. So that's what that means, standard A2. Heather, I hope that helps. I know Donna, paper hoarder, I made a New Year's resolution that I was not going to hoard paper anymore. I was going to start using it. So let me finish the envelope first before I rant on to something else. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put my liquid glue. This thing keeps getting little like glue buggers in it. There we go. I'm going to put some glue there and there. And we are going to put... See where do I want a little bit of glue? Right here. Put a little bit here and a little bit there. There you go. Beautiful little envelope matches your card. The recipient is going to be so amazed at your matching envelope with a matching card, right? So, okay, get out the paper. Mary, I know we're all guilty of being hoarders. Stop the vicious cycle. Use the paper. Use it for tons of stuff. Make envelopes, make gift bags, make things that take a lot of paper. Now it's time to have a drink. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I savor like every little drop of my one can of Pepsi a day. <laughs> All right, now are we ready to make a matching card? Yes, we are. Hang on, I still got a couple things hanging out here. All right, you guys, this is going to be fun. I got this. I got this. Ooh, we're going to use this new embossing folder. This is called, oh, I promised I would remember what it was called. It's called the Scallop Stripes, I think, embossing folder. I don't remember what it's called. Something like that. Okay, I've got two more cards to show you using this fun fold. You guys know how I love a fun fold, right? <laughs> I know, it's kind of a weakness for me. Let me see what that folder, does anybody know what that folder is called? It's this one. I can't remember. Um, striped scallops, I think, but I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, and Wink and Stella. Woo! All right, we've got Pear Pizzazz, Pool Party, Blushing Bride, and Smoky Sleigh. Thank you, Sue. Thank you so much. All right, you guys, this is an exclusive host set. This is found in the back of our catalog. Um, it's called Seasoned with Kindness, and it's got this little tin can and tin can accents and some flowers, and then you can fill in the flowers. You know, you've got your outline and then your insides that you can do color, a couple tags, some cute greetings, and lots of little leaves or succulenty type things. This can only, you can only get this with a $150 order. Once your order reaches $150 before tax and shipping, you get what we call Stampin' Rewards. And Stampin' Up! gives you $15 to spend on anything you want. Let me see. I'm going to quick look and see how much that one is. This is my catalog that I ruined because I spilled lemonade all over in my travel bag when I was on the airplane. <laughs> I always do something like that. It is $9.50. These are deeply discounted for the Stampin' Rewards. It's a special perk when your order reaches a certain level or you have a party and everybody else contributes to your total. But that's where I'm getting that from. Did anybody find that embossing folder? Striped scallops. Did, is that what I said? I was close. Scallop stripes. I don't know what I said, but I was darn close. Okay. Here comes our cardstocks. 
And oh my, oh my, oh my, we are using some, oh, that must be a scrap. Some very pretty color combinations here. Here we go. There's a lot of little pieces here, but this card was super duper easy to make. That's a scrap. These are all my layers. Okay. This is Pool Party. Well, let's start with this. This is Night of Navy, five and a half by four and a quarter. And then we've got a piece of petal pink, and this looks kind of peachy, which I just love. The petal pink is four by five and a quarter. I've got a scalloped square here. This is from the layering scallop or layering squares. This is the two and a half by two and a half one. This is two and an eighth by two and an eighth whisper white. This is one and a quarter by four, two and a quarter by four, two and three quarters by four. And this is all that twinkle twinkle paper. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Okay, so here's our fun fold. Let's get our scoring done. I'll show you where I got this idea from, too, because I did not come up with it. I'm not real good at that, but I can sure copy stuff good. <laughs> We're going to score at one and a half, and let's get our cutting blade out of there before I have a disaster. <laughs> Cheryl says, I will use my paper. I will use my paper. Maybe after I write it 500 times, it will not, it will help not to hoard my paper. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Okay, we've got one and a half, three, five and a half, and eight. And by the way, this paper is 11 by four and a quarter. So I'll run over those numbers again, and they will be posted on my blog. This is one and a half, three inches, five and a half, and eight inches. That's how I scored it. This is four and a quarter by 11. All right, so we are going to, this is kind of similar to a fun fold I did a few weeks ago, but it's different. <laughs> so I, I had to look back and go, gosh, did I already show you guys this? But I did not. And you're just going to go back and forth in this accordion zigzaggy um, pattern with your folds. We've got mountains and valleys, and I'm just going to give them a good burnish with my bone folder so that my card will lay nicely, right? Okay, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start gluing this stuff on. So here's our front panel, and I know you guys love fun folds as much as I do, so I absolutely had to show this to you. It's so cute. And here's our next one. Pat says she needs to use her paper, too. Oh, Shelby, I've got three generations from her family watching. Her mom, her sister, her daughter, and her. That is super cool. Hi, Stephanie, Carol, and Arliss. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Okay, and here's... Isn't, the, isn't this paper just pretty? Now, I chose the pool party because it's one of the colors in this Twinkle Twinkle Designer Series paper. Um, I am going to emboss this four by five and a quarter inch piece of petal pink in the folder this way so that my lines run across. And through the magic of TV, I have already done that. Wow, amazing, right? <laughs> okay, we are going to glue this onto our Knight of Navy. I always, always, always recommend glue on an embossed layer when you're gluing it together here. It sticks much better than tape runners. Okay. Then we have just a little bit of stamping to do. Where did my... I got a new one here. We're going to do a little bit of stamping on the center. Oh, look, there's a polka dot. I don't know where that came from. Um... Let's see. Had some scraps. What did I do with them? Did you guys see my scraps? I know. Oh, here they are. I knew I laid them down here. All right. We've got our tin can. 
and I'm using Smoky Slate Ink here. This is that sweet little tin can that is just adorable. You just need a small little white piece of scrap for that. And then here are the little tin can accents. Now I'm gonna stick my head in here so I can make sure I'm stamping this properly. Oh, that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I just goofed this piece up, so let's start over. <laughs> it happens. Let me grab another little scrap. Here we go. Sorry. We're not supposed to be doing that on there. We're going to do the tag on there. My apologies. Here comes our little tag. We're going to stamp that. Isn't that just the cutest little thing? And I see somebody got some other color in my ink pad there. So see the difference? Somebody stamped something dark in there, and here it isn't because I used a different piece of the ink pad. So this is Blushing Bride, by the way. And now I'm going to do my can on the gray. I'm using Smoky Slate. That's what I goofed up before. Just a little scrap. Here comes the can shadow accent lines, and I'm going to stick my head in. Oh, that looks pretty good. We're going to cut this out so it's not a big deal that I didn't make it on the can. This is super easy to cut out. And through the magic of TV, I've already done that because I don't want you sitting here watching me cutting this out. And I've already cut the tag out, so aren't those just adorable? Yeah. Now, we are going to... Um, I'm going to stamp the can on this white square. This is going to be for the front of our card, so I'm doing it centered and down towards the bottom. Oh, that's a little too close. Let's try that again. That's better. And then we're going to do, we don't need to do the accents because we're actually going to put this on our can, but now we're going to stamp our flowers. I'm going to bring in the stays on. And... I know, Marsha, the magic of TV, you wish you could do that at home. I completely understand and agree with you. Using stays on ink because, again, I'm going to be coloring this, and I need it to not smear around and make a big mess. I'm going to glue on my tin can over top of the can that I stamped. So I just stamped that can there. So I knew where to put my flower, right? And now I took this one that I cut out and put it over top. And then I think, what did I decide to do with these little tags? I think I'm just going to put this, I'm using a mini dimensional, and I'm just going to put this right here. Oh, kind of hang it off the edge of my can. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. And then we're going to use some coloring tools. So I've got a pair of pizzazz. I'm just going to come in with my aqua painter. Whoops. Ink in the lid here. And I'm just going to quickly touch the leaves with the ink. Okay. I'm going to clean this off on this other one over here. And then here's a cool thing. And you guys might already know this, but maybe you forgot about it. I'm going to use the um, what's this called? Blushing Bride. And what did you say? The lighting seems strange today. Yeah, I'm not really sure why. Does Is that better? I just raised up one of my lamps. It was down really low. I think that is better. Beth, does that look better for the lighting? I think so. All right, this is my Wink of Stella. This is a clear Wink of Stella. There's glitter in here. Did you know you can pick up color? And you can color with your Wink of Stella. It will color and it will add glitter all at the same time. Isn't that cool? So I know it's probably hard to see in the camera, but that flower is glimmery, which I think is totally cool. And then again, just like you do with an aqua painter, you just wipe it off until you don't have the color in it anymore. Isn't that cool? I know. I don't think I've ever done this before. I've seen it, I've known about it, but I've never done it. So get yourself some Wink of Stella brushes. These last a long time. Um, and the glimmer that they add to projects is just super, super cute. 
All right, I want to do a little flicking here. I'm just going to do a little bit of flick with my marker. That's perfect. That's all I wanted. Make sure you let this dry a little bit. Last night as I was working on stuff, I smeared one of these because I, did, I touched it right away. The marker, when you splatter it like that, takes a little bit more time to do this. Cheryl, I'm glad I could show you something you didn't know. That makes me so happy. Um, <laughs> cause I want to make sure I'm giving you guys, you know, fresh content that you're not like, Oh, she's showing us stuff that we've already seen a gazillion times. So that's awesome. Okay. Then I got this really cute. This is new. This is our silver pool party bakers twine. So it's got silver and pool party in it. And it's just so, so pretty. And I'm just going to tie a little bow here. Let's see if I can tie a little bow. I think I got a little smoked today out in the sun, I'll tell ya. Um, <laughs> later in the afternoon, you don't really realize, you know, the shade, the shade isn't over our tables anymore because of the umbrellas. Now the sun is just shining right through instead of more on top of them. And you really don't realize how much sun you're getting. But I think I got myself a little, like I say, a little smoked today, a little crispy. Yeah, I need to clean these scissors. They're all, look at, they're all gunked up with adhesive. I know, I'm very naughty. Okay, I think, where am I going to put this? I think I'm going to pull this up. I just pulled my tag up because I, I needed to put my bow on before I did that. And here we go. I'm going to put the bow right here, right there. Now, what am I going to do with this? Oh, I crinkle it a little bit. Oh, I straightened it out. We're good. <laughs> I think we'll do that. How about just right here? That looks cute, doesn't it? Just kind of coming off the top of the can. Here comes the layer that I'm going to glue together here. Oops, I got some glue on the front. Yeah. Put this on our little scallop. This is a Knight of Navy scallop. And we have some dimensionals. Put dimensionals. I'm only going to put dimensionals on the back side of the left. The back of the left side. Okay, just like that. Okay. Mary Lynn Weller, I'm glad you could join us late to the party. Better late than never, right? I'm going to fold this up. I'm going to center this. And I'm centering this on this whole piece. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, now we still need to stamp a little bit right here. And let's see, where did my words go? What was I going to do with this? I think I forgot to get my words out. So let's do that. We've got a little kindness seasons everything. That's what I wanted to say. So this is kind of a, a stamp set that you could, or I mean a card that you could give to anybody who's been nice to you, right? And I, I, I truly hope that that's most of the people in your life. And if it's not, you need to get rid of them because that is not good for you. How about that? Okay, so I think I am going to use Night of Navy ink here, because that's our boldest color in this color combination. And by the way, I got all these color combinations from the designer series paper. That's what I love about our paper is, isn't that cute? Is that, you know, you can just go to the paper and it tells you right on the back of the pack of all of our paper, it says that this goes with gray granite, night of navy, petal pink, pool party, soft sea foam, and whisper white. So you can just go right to the back and find out where you should be pulling your colors from. Okay, I'm gonna take pool party now. And I have these little succulents and I thought these would just be really cute on this particular um, panel. 
These are going to lighten up a little bit. They look really green, but this is pool party and this is pool party cardstock. Okay, you ready to put this together? Um, yeah, let me clean this up just a little bit. We're going to fold this all up. I don't know if this card fold has a name or not. I call it just stinking adorable. <laughs> Char, yeah, my workspace is full, isn't it? I try to keep it cleaned up because otherwise it gets just kind of chaotic when we're stamping together here. Here we go. Hey, you guys, is this not adorable? Look at how cute that is. Now, if you wanted a bigger space to write on, um, you can certainly put a white panel on the back here and stamp a little, like a little something, something like this in the corner and use that to write on. But most of the time I don't need that much space to write a note in. Isn't that just adorable? All right, you guys, this is the Season with Kindness stamp set. It is an exclusive host set that you can only get when you have a party or place a $150 order. This is the striped scallops embossing folder. It is new, and that's what I used on this background here. The new pool party in silver baker's twine. This also comes in pink. It's beautiful. I recommend both of these, and baker's twine is really inexpensive. So I used petal um, party for this tag. I used um, blushing bride for the flower with the Wink of Stella. I flicked some black onto the white layer. Mm, super cute. Are you guys ready to see the other cards that I made using this? Hang on, let me just clean up just a touch. Get all of these put away. I'm gonna clean these. Oh, this is getting dry. I have so many fans going in my room right now. The ceiling fan is going. I've got a fan going in front of me. Well, I guess that's all, it's not so many. But it is, it can get super, super hot in here for sure. All right, let me get this stuff put away so we can go on to the next one. Put that in there. Okay, we're good. And here is our matching envelope. Look at how cute that is. It all goes together. We've got Night of Navy and Pool Party here. Oops, I still got that tape on me. Isn't this just the cutest? So there you go. Heather, I hope you were able to follow along. Now you know, you guys, that if you miss something on the video, you can always, once I'm done being live, it then just becomes another video where you have the power to fast forward or rewind, pause, play it again. When I'm trying to um, write down dimensions and stuff when I'm watching a video, I will pause it and start and write it down and then stop and then write it down or just go to my blog where you'll find all the dimensions, which is easier. But I won't have that ready until Tuesday. Okay, so there's our super cute card. Hang on, I'm having some difficulties here. Um, next, I wanted to show you this cutie patootie card. What time is it, you guys? I don't even know. Hang on a second. Oh, it's 8.22. Well, I'm almost done. This is super, super cute. Here is the A Big Thank You stamp set. This comes with that big thank you, um... Finlet that says thank you. It's the words, really pretty. I love, 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 love this stamp set. It's got some really cute little flowers in here and some other elements, but look at this. I used it, I used it. <laughs> oh my gosh, my teachers are gonna have my head on a platter for that. Um, I used the tufted embossing folder. That's one of our dynamic folders, very pretty. Again, with the square, layering squares. The Friends, Our Flowers, and the Garden of Life is right from this, a big thank you, as are the flowers. And now this is Blushing Bride with gray granite. And this designer series paper is coming to us from the Tropical Escape. And I'm pretty sure that one is part, yep, it is. It's part of the um, promotion, buy three, get one free. So 
One side is mostly greens, okay? But the other side is these blushing bright pinks. It's so, so pretty. And there's some black and white in here, so I'm gonna be, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of this paper from me um, because of the black and white sheets also. But that's where I got this layer, this layer, and this layer is all from this Tropical Escape pack. And then You're the Best, and I stamp some of the Blushing Bride. Here's the pink and um, silver uh, Baker's Twine. And another really cute fun fold. And then I want to show you where I got this idea from. This jewel. This uses our In Color Designer Series paper packs. And I'm just going to check and see. Those are not part of the promotion. Um, because I think they're bigger and they cost more. But isn't this the sweetest? Look at how cute that is. Again, the tufted um, embossing folder. This is the abstract impression stamp set. And the in color designer series 6x6 six six paper pack. This was made by my friend, Ruth Bingle. Ruth is out in California. She's just the sweetest um, person ever. We still stay in touch via email, and we I do see her at Stampin' Up! events. I'm hoping she'll be on the Alaska cruise in a couple weeks here. This is the polka dotted, um, I don't know what they call this, but it's the polka dotted ribbon. Very, very pretty. Ruth, I, I got this card in a swap that Ruth sent. And I thought, oh my lord, this just is the most adorable thing to me. So that's when I decided I needed to make some of these and show you how easy and cute these are, right? I know, I love this fold too, Lynn. It is amazing. And here's another one. Oh my gosh, it's just so, so sweet. And a matching envelope. And then I'll show you guys, as I was practicing last night, this is some of our old designer series paper. Now, for some of you paper hoarders out there, you know who you are. I'm sure you have some of this. You get that paper out and you use it. This is a 12 by 12 gift bag. Remember the bag that I made for you guys was 10 by 10. Hang on, let me get some of this mess out of the way here. So I made this bag 10 by 10. This is 12 by 12 paper. And you do all the same steps. You score on the same lines, on the same measurements. I just cut my paper a little smaller. So you could make this eight by eight and it would be a little, a little bit smaller than this. Any size will work following the exact same directions. But this is 12 by 12. This was from that, I think, succulent bundle that we had last year. And this is my prototype in a 10 by 10 to make this for you. And this was some of our um, in color designer series paper. So I've got all these cute little bags. See, I told you I'm using designer series paper. Jump on that bandwagon. <laughs> okay, so we have this with our matching card. Then we have all these cute little fun folds. And I did have one more card for you tonight, but I think we're done because I have used up all of your time and I will have to show it to you next week. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to share my video. You can click on the share button right now. It won't take you away from me. Um, you'll be entered in a drawing to win fabulous products from me for your comments, sharing my video, and also placing orders in my online store. Here is the hostess code. It is DBY77YJ. You will find that at the bottom of every blog post on my blog and in the right hand column. If you go to the underneath the blog post, you can copy it and then paste it when you go in to do your or online orders. It's just easier than typing it out. But that's where you're going to find it. Don't forget. This Abstract Impressions Bundle, I have an online class available for this. The online class is $20. It features eight different exclusive cards that you will not see on the internet anyplace using the Abstract Impressions Bundle, plus a bonus card. So you're actually getting nine cards and links to other cards that I've made using this particular bundle. 
You can also get the online class that's $20 for free when you order the bundle from me. You'll, also, you'll find all that information um, on my blog. So just go to my blog, www.astampabob.com, and scroll down until you see Abstract Impressions Online Class. And when you click on that, it'll take you to all the details. But if you order the bundle from me, you get this class for free. So that's like super bonus, right? All right, you guys, does anybody have any questions that I did not catch? I didn't see a lot of questions tonight, so I'm hoping that we're good. Um, yeah, now my computer's doing some funny things. Thank you, Judy. You're very, very welcome. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for tuning in to me on Sunday night. I am, I have enjoyed my time with you as well. These are some really cute cards. I have no idea what I've got planned for next weekend, but I will be back again at 7 p.m. Central Time for another Facebook Live where I'm going to share some more fabulous ideas with you, right? Looking forward to it. Thank you for showing me the love. I absolutely love that. Okay, um, if you have any questions that I missed, please feel free to leave them in the comments now and I will answer them online. Um, I'll, I'll post a comment. And uh, thanks, Linda. I love being a rock star. Um, Thanks a lot, Carol. Great ideas again tonight. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm still in awe that I have so many people that are um, following me on here. It's, just a, it's a great feeling, I think. Thank you guys so much. I wish you a wonderful week, a safe 4th of July, regardless of whether you're traveling or whether you're lighting off firecrackers. Leave that to the professionals. Oh my lord, you hear about so many people getting their fingers blown off, right? Um, leave that to the professionals. Do not hold on to bottle rockets and let them go off. There's no, nothing good is going to happen from that. But I think you guys are a lot smarter than that. Um, I leave the leave the fireworks to the to the men and away from me. Um, I do love fireworks, though. You guys have a wonderful Fourth of July weekend. Be safe. Enjoy your family. Enjoy the summer. Bye bye. <laughs>